So now we're going to do the advanced questions, not the easy, the advanced questions, which is more or less like the application of probability or the Kantian principle. As you know, the fact that the quiz for this is going to be down the description box, right? to basically cover this section and again if you are struggling with probability the course it's only 120 rand and it covers everything you have access to the course till you write your november paper so if you're struggling go ahead and purchase the course so now we're going to do 10.2 so with 10.2 it's more or less the application of probability or the application of counting principles right so with this one it falls under the hard questions right and if you just need more work in it just know the fact that i do have a course and i cover the application side and there's actually a similar question in the course that is more or less exactly like the one that we are about to do so if you just need to brush off your probability i would suggest the fact that you purchase the course right? So that's all I wanted to say. So now let's do 10.2. So with 10.2 is the following. It says a four digit code must, what you call this, a four digit code must be set using a letters I, A, E, O, U, so the vowels and the digits between zero and nine. Then they tell us the fact that the letters may be repeated, but the digits may not be repeated. That's very important. So we know the following, let me just highlight. They tell us the fact that the digits right they tell us the fact that the letters may not be repeated so we know the fact that the digits may not be repeated right then they tell us the fact that what let me just erase this because it tells us what is the digit code so they tell us the fact that the digits may not be repeated so this digits right may not be repeated and they tell us that another important information is that the letters can be repeated right so that's very important understanding what is repeated and what is not repeated right so with that said it says the following part it says the code must consist of two letters so we know the fact that the code must consist of two letters let me just change my pen so we know that the code must consist of two letters right so this is going to be two letters so this is going to be two letters right and they tell us the fact that again that the digits my the code must also consist of what of two digits right so that is that right so the first question it says 10.1 how many different codes are possible right given this information so in our heads we know the following we know the fact that in terms of alphabets, we need to have what? We need to have two digits and what you call this, two letters, right? And those letters, we know from our options, how many letters do we need to use? It's A, it's I, A, E, O, O, right? So we know the fact that this is one, two, three, four, five. So we have five options, right? So we have five options, right? from what from the latest and from the five options they tell us the fact that it can be what it can be repeated so the first position we can have five right and the second position since we can repeat any other letter is that we can have five again right so we have two options what you call this this is the for the letters right since it can be repeated i hope that makes sense right so since it can be repeated is that whatever letter if i have a in the first letter is that in the second position again i can have a again because remember the fact that we are allowed to repeat I hope that makes sense, right? So now with digits, they tell us the fact that the digits that we need to use is between 0 till 9, right? So 0 till 9 is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. If we count here, we see the fact that we're going to have 10 options, right? From 10 options to use right so remember the fact that we are now allowed to repeat since we're not allowed to repeat is that the first position here for the digits is that we're gonna have 10 options but since we're not allowed to repeat is that since the first position already has a number is that how many options are we going to be left for the second one it's nine right so this is 
the options, right? So now we need to calculate how many different codes. So for this one, it's basically going to be 5 multiplied by 5, right? For the letters, then for the digits, it's going to be what? It's going to be 10 multiplied by what? By 9, right? So when you uh, multiply this, we'll see the fact that in total, we're going to have 2,250, right? 50 what? 50 different types of codes, right? So we're going to have two different types of different types of code that we can create right from the information that we given below hope that makes sense right so this is for 10.2.1 right so that's using the information now moving to 10 point 10.2.2 right it says what is the probability that a code is picked randomly that starts with a and a and they tell us the fact that and has an even number right and and uh, what you call this starts with A, right? And B, an even number. So what is the following, right? It's the following. is that we know that our code is going to be the two digits, the two numbers, which was the two parts of the code is two letters, right? So we know the fact that this is two letters here. And here we know the fact that it's what? It's going to be what? It's going to be two digits, right? So what did they tell us in here? It says the fact that our code needs to start with A. So A is going to be here, right? So we already know the fact that A needs to start our code, right? And they tell us the fact that the, in the code, we need to have an even number, right? So from here, how many is our even number? We know the fact that 0 is even, right? 2 is even. 4 is even, right? Then we know the fact that 6 is even and 8 is even, right? So how many even numbers are there? It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we have 5 options of even number, right? So it's either we can put it here or here. It really doesn't matter because it didn't tell us the position of where the even number is going to be. So I'm going to just put it here. So for the even numbers, think about it is that we have 5 options, right? So to get an even number is that we have 5 options, right? So we can choose from the 5 options, right? Then now, since now, we know the fact that it needs to start with a and it needs to have an even number which is five options now we need to check the second part of the letter right so remember the fact that letters can be repeated right so a can repeat again so with that said how many options do we have is that we're going to still have five options because we are allowed to repeat I hope it makes sense. But here, since if we're going to take out one of the number as being an even number, right? How many options are we going to be left, right? Let's say we take out two and we have 10 options, right? If we could take out two, we're going to be left with nine. So it's going to be nine, right? So that's that. So this A, since it's there, it's going to represent one option. I hope that makes sense, right? So now, since we're finding the probability, right? To find the probability, this one, this combination that's all going to be on top is going to be in the numerator. Then in the denominator is the total one, right? Is the number of options from that situation. I hope that makes sense. So, so with that said, is that we're going to say the probability of this. Let's find the numerator. As A, A is one option, so it's going to be 1 multiplied by 5 for the letters. Then this is going to be multiplied by 5, 5 representing the even numbers, multiplied by 9, which is the remaining numbers, right? And this whole thing is going to be divided by what? It's going to be divided by the total, which is going to be 200 and 2,250, right? So the numerator here, when you punch this into the calculator, you're going to get 1 over 10, which is 1 over 10 is the same as 0 comma 1. So this is the probability that when you pick a code, it starts with A and it also contains an even number. I hope that makes sense. So that's how you would answer this question.